Hey guys, this is my scooter I'm renting in Bali. I paid 850,000 rupees for two weeks, which comes to about 55 US dollars. And yeah, it was a lot easier than I expected. Uh, there's rental places like on every street. It's very easy. They don't check for any license or anything like that. And you don't even need a deposit. You just pay them, show them your passport, and you're all set. And uh, yeah, it seems like police don't really care too much. I haven't been pulled over yet, and I don't really see people getting pulled over. So as long as you wear a helmet, uh, you should be pretty fine. Yeah, as for drivers, they're honestly, they're pretty good. Compared to place, other places I've been, like Thailand or Vietnam, uh, drivers actually use their blinkers here, they're pretty considerate, pretty good drivers overall, but the traffic is absolutely terrible. And to get from one point to another can take upwards of one to two hours. So yeah, traffic's pretty insane, but yeah, aside from that, it's not bad. So let's go for a ride. Also parking if you want to drive to the beach I paid 2,000 rupees pretty reasonable and then you just show up right at the beach here so another option if you don't feel comfortable renting a bike is to use grab or Gojek which is basically the uber of Bali and these are super cheap they're like a dollar or two per ride and uh, yeah, it's everywhere, easy. It might actually be cheaper than to rent a bike. So depending on how far you're going and how often you're gonna be traveling. But yeah, let's go order one now and see what it's like. All right, so I just ordered a Grab. Should be here in about 30 seconds and it's gonna cost about a dollar for a 10 or 15 minute ride. So not a bad deal should be coming around the corner here. Uh, hello. Yes. Yeah, sorry. I was here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, there's police? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I put on the helmet. Uh, you want to make the video? Yeah, I make YouTube? Uh, YouTube, yeah. Oh, you are a YouTuber? Yeah. Oh, what's yeah. your name? Uh, Travel Banana. Oh, different. Okay, I will subscribe. Oh, thank you. Don't thank worry, I will subscribe. Thank you. Yeah, I'm taking video about... Uh, oh, you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, that's... Thanks, subscribe and comment. Yeah, subscribe, like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> thank you. We support of your channel. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Please support my channel. I have not many subscribers. So. My friend, I will talk to my friend. Oh, my friend. Please subscribe, please. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Please please tell your friend too. My friend, friend. Oh, nice. Energy. Uh, energy. Yeah, energy. Uh, you coming back again too. Yeah. Like healing. Yeah, it's like uh, all the temples and yoga yeah good vibes oh so we got new subscriber 
I'm just a surfer. This yes. is my friend. Yeah, <laughs> Suri. Yeah, thank you so much. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So as you can see, this place is pretty magical. I haven't really been anywhere else in the world quite like this. Feels like I'm living in a dream. But perhaps it is a dream. Oh, well, that was a weird dream. But oh, where am I? Oh, I'm in Bali. I'm still here. Wow, what was I gonna say? Oh, I, I guess something else that kind of surprised me about Bali was the size of it. So I didn't really expect it to be so huge, but if you wanna get from like the top to the bottom, it's gonna be about a three hour motorbike ride. And even places from like Ubud to Kangu, it'll take about an hour by motorbike. So uh, it's pretty far and Places are pretty dispersed and you're gonna have to ride a bit to get around, but um, yeah, I guess that's it. So thanks for watching and hope to catch you in the next video.